be offended if someone used the word Jewophobia? Judaism phobia would be fear of Judaism, but if they don't use that term. There are people who may not like Judaism. There are people who could say anything they want about Judaism. That's my religion. It's criticized. Christopher Hitchens criticized it in his book. I don't think he has an anti-Semitic bone in his body. But that, that's the whole point. But if you criticize Islam, you're considered to be a, a racist. But if you criticize Judaism, nobody thinks you're a racist. That's, that's the point of the brilliance of the term. That's why one of the many reasons you can no longer criticize only one group. For example, to use the theme that you were using before, uh, if, you have a Mus if you have a Quran in the toilet, which is disgusting, absolutely irreprehensible, that's all of a sudden a hate crime. But if you have a crucifix in a man's pee, piss Christ, that's at galleries and museums, and a man makes money on it. <laughs> it gives you an idea because there's no Christianophobia, Christianity phobia, but there is Islamophobia. And so the word and the intimidation have been very effective in right. intimidating any equal reaction if, to the religion. If you believe this intimidation is for real, do you think it is succeeding in suppressing criticism of Islam? It's almost a rhetorical question that Christopher Hitchens uh, mentioned earlier uh, about CNN or any, and it's not, I'm not picking on CNN, it was true for Fox News or anybody else. Nobody showed the cartoons in the United States. I think the Philadelphia Inquirer might have been the one, the one exception. That was the most, one of the most newsworthy things, yet uh, no, no newspaper had a problem of showing the Virgin Mary surrounded by cow dung. <laughs> it's a, it's a non-issue, or for that matter, uh, the crucifix in urine. Those are okay, or, or Newsweek puts the Jewish star with machine machine guns in it when it didn't like some Israeli policy. Nobody at Newsweek was afraid that Jews are going to blow up uh, Newsweek, but people are afraid that they will be blown up by Muslims. Uh, radical Muslims, Islamists, whatever term you wish to use, they're afraid they will be blown up by only one group of religious people on earth at this time.